हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग ट्यूटोरियल सो विल कंटिन्यू आर डिस्कशन विद द ऑप्टो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स डिवाइसेस एंड सिस्टम्स सो फार वी हैव डिस्कस्ड सम ऑफ द बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट्स रिलेटेड टू द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स एंड आल्सो अबाउट ऑप्टिकल फाइबर्स द बेसिक स्ट्रक्चरल कॉन्सेप्ट्स द क्लासिफिकेशन सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट the light propagation uh, principle in optical fibers how light rays travel within the optical fibers carrying information from source to des destination the basic principle so we know that the optical fibers is an important element in the optical communication system they carry the signal modulated signal a uh, light signal from the source to the destination carrying the necessary data modulated with respect to the amplitude frequency uh, phase or the wavelength so an important thing to understand is how light signals they travel within the optical fiber okay we should have a good understanding about that so we know that optical fibers they are basically cylindrical wave guides Uh, which carry light from one point to another through multiple total internal reflection so what is this total internal reflection what is the basic principle of that most uh, of us we have studied it in physics but still we will uh, just repeat it again so that we have a good understanding so the total internal reflection again it involves the two important elements of the optical fiber which is the core and the cladding okay and here the refractive index of the core and the cladding they come into play for total internal reflection now we know that the basic structural principle of the optical fiber is that core has a maximum refractive index cladding has a lower refractive index as compared to the core okay so why it is done uh, refractive index of the core is maintained at a maximum value cladding has a lower refractive index it is because to facilitate total internal reflection so first let us understand what total internal reflection is then we'll discuss how total internal reflection happens in optical fibers okay so total internal reflection is the phenomena which occurs when light travels from an optically denser medium optically denser medium means a medium which has higher refractive index to an optically rarer medium medium with a lower refractive index so when light travels from an optically denser medium to an optically rarer medium under certain conditions light is reflected back into the denser medium in normal circumstances refraction happens you know when light travels from denser to rare, rare medium the light ray bends away from the normal that is refraction but here this under certain conditions which is very special light is reflected back into the denser medium refraction does not occur internal reflection happens so this phenomena is called as total internal reflection so let us understand what that is so this certain conditions is uh, what uh, we will discuss okay so let us see uh, that we have this uh, core and cladding layer core with maximum refractive index cladding with a lower refractive index light is traveling from core to cladding it strikes the interface we draw a normal at this point here the angle of incidence which is measured with respect to the normal i is lesser than c we'll come to this what the c is all about so in this case when this angle of incidence is lesser than c where c is some value refraction happens light ray bends away from the normal okay denser to rarer medium light ray bends away from the normal with the angle of refraction r 
now this c is what is called as the critical angle okay critical angle and the certain conditions under certain conditions is where this critical angle comes into play okay so critical angle is basically the angle of incidence in the denser medium for which the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree so what this definition means is that critical angle is that angle such that when a light ray traveling from the core to the cladding that is optically denser medium to optically rarer medium it is that angle in the denser medium measured with respect to the normal such that the refracted ray has an angle of refraction equals to 90 degree okay so when the angle of incidence will be equal to this critical angle okay when angle of incidence in the denser medium or the core will be equal to this critical angle the angle of refraction will be 90 degree the refracted ray will make an angle 90 degree with respect to the normal so different materials have different critical angle values depending on uh, the core cladding uh, material combinations so depending on that the optical fibers are designed in such a way okay so critical angle is that angle such that when the angle of incidence in the denser medium is equal to that critical angle the angle of refraction in the rarer medium is 90 degree okay so here when angle of incidence is lesser than critical angle refraction is happening okay refraction is happening when it is equal refraction is equal to 90 degree okay angle of refraction is 90 degree now the third case which is the important one is when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so when angle of incidence will be greater than the critical angle then the light ray will get reflected back into the denser medium it will not get refracted into the cladding but it will get back reflected back into the core and that is what we want in optical fibers that's why the refractive index of the core is kept maximum is kept at a higher value as compared to the cladding in order to facilitate this total internal reflection and for that the light rays from the optoelectronic source are transmitted at such an angle that it makes an angle of incidence greater than the critical angle and the critical angle it is uh, different for different core cladding combinations depending on the type of material which is used so as per the specifications of the optical fiber the angle of incidence is adjusted so that the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle so that total internal reflection happens so conditions for total internal reflection they are first light must travel from an optically denser medium to rarer medium in this case core should have maximum refractive index optically denser cladding should have a lower refractive index optically rarer the second condition is that the angle of incidence in the denser medium must be greater than the critical angle okay these are the two important conditions for total internal reflection okay so basically uh, the light ray it travels in these ways first when it is uh, projected perpendicular travel straight forward then when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle refraction happens which we don't want when angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle refraction is 90 degree Ref angle of refraction that is also we don't want it is this condition which we want angle of incidence greater than the critical angle such that total internal reflect uh, reflection happens okay so it is this fourth condition the fourth case that we want okay angle of incidence greater than the critical angle total internal reflection back into the core so basically light travels through successive total internal reflect uh, reflections to the 
uh, from sender side to receiver side. This is the basic principle of transmission of light signals in optical fibers. Okay, so two conditions must be met. Core should have a maximum refract means higher refractive index as compared to the cladding. Angle of incidence in the core should be greater than the critical angle in order to facilitate total internal reflection. Okay, so this is the basic principle of light propagation or optical signal propagation in optical fibers. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical, electronics, instrumentation and communication engineering. Have a great day. Thank you very much.